Item SCP-353, Object Class, Heater, Special Containment Procedures, Biological Hazard Protocol Redacted is to be maintained at all times Biohazard Threat Level 4. Full hazardous materials, suits, gloves, and oxygen supply will be required to examine subject. A disinfectant shower and decontamination spray are standard procedure before and after contact with SCP-353. The whole containment unit is to be kept underground, at negative pressure, and hermetically sealed at all times to prevent accidental contamination to the outside area. In the case of containment breach, all affected personnel are to be placed in immediate biohazard level for quarantine. Termination will be required in the possibility of an outbreak of one or more Class 9 infectious agents. Subject should be fed three times a day, as standard, and provided with the minimum required comfort items at wind size bed, a pillow, and a blanket. Clothing in the form of disposable surgical scrubs are to be provided as needed, but requests for items should otherwise be denied. Any outward signs of disease in the subject, such as rashes, boils, vomiting, or sickly pallor or demeanor, should be reported with haste. Since the appearance of symptoms in SCP-353 means a willful effort on her part, subject is to be subdued and questioned. Should SCP-353 need to leave its containment facility for any reason, it is to be fitted with explosive collar, time-release drug delivery device for dosages of euphoric substances, and biohazard containment suit. Should SCP-353's suit breach containment, emergency sterilization, procedures up to and including incineration of the affected area are to be carried out. Description, SCP-353 appears to be a normal human female, 26 years old, of average physical capacity and average intelligence. Subject has the capacity to siphon infectious viral and bacterial agents from her environment, nurture and store them within her body, and then redistribute them to devastating pandemic effect SCP-353's mood directly affects the radius of infections recorded, with increased emotional states leading to massively increased potency. SCP-353 seems to be immune from the symptoms of said infectious agents, but just as long as she is only passively storing them. Her active, willful attempts to nurture, manipulate, and change infectious agents while they remain in her body cause her to manifest symptoms ranging from mildly annoying to severe. Symptoms only last as long as she is actively inducing a change in the quantity or quality of an infectious agent, and thus rarely last longer than a few hours. Examinations have shown that the subject is able to store almost any infectious bacterial or viral agents within her body, though she is only capable of changing agents that are able to naturally survive within the human body. As of the writing of this report, SCP-353's blood contains traces of over 1,000 different infectious agents, including human immunodeficiency virus HIV Ebola, Marburg, 67 different strains of the common cold, herpes simplexae, E. coli, cholera, bubonic plague, SARS, and malaria. At least 30 of said infectious agents were previously unknown to the medical community and were possibly engineered by SCP-353 herself, making SCP-353 an invaluable resource. Addendum 353-1, SCP-353 was originally encountered in data expunged, South Africa, where she seemed to be deliberately seeking to pick up strains of the Ebola virus. Foundation personnel pursued SCP-353 to Dresden, Germany, where they determined that she had successfully contracted Marburg and redistributed said virus to data expunged. Subject was eventually subdued by physical means and taken into Foundation custody with minimal loss of life. To date, her true identity is unknown, as she gives no name other than Vector and refuses to answer any questions about her past. SCP-353 claims to have traveled the Western world seeking greater infections for her collection. When asked why, she would not give a response aside from because I can. Addendum 353-2 initial testing has shown that she is as adept at manipulating and changing infectious agents in the bodies of nearby subjects as she is at manipulating them within her own body. She seems to prefer to manipulate diseases within her own body, however, as it grants her full access to the results of her manipulations. Furthermore, her ability to manipulate disease in nearby subjects means it's likely that she is equally capable of curing diseases and dispensing them. On a different note, personnel are reminded to refer to humanoid desks by their numerical SCP designation. Should SCP-353 refuse to cooperate, she is to be subdued and punished. We are not here to make her X-Men villain fantasies come true. Dr. Sara Jarvie, 